Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season two, episode three of Avatar The Last Airbender called Return to Amashu. So we start with Aang is trying to find Boomy and um, they had to go in through the sewer. <laughs> and it's funny because, you know, Aang was there bending the way the gunk and Katara's like bending the way the gunk with her water bending and then Sokka just got slimed with a bunch of I don't even want to know what it was and so um when he got out he had like a bunch of suckers on him it's like a bunch of like mini octopus and um or octopi for poor I don't know <laughs> anyway so they got busted and so they make up a story called Pentabox so anyway so they managed to get away. Then we got to where is getting a small team. And you have May's intro um, back at Omashu. And people are trying to take them out. But Aang stopped it. And then May is an excellent fighter. Like a really good fighter. But um, let's see. Then who is EB rescued them? Anyway, I guess the resistance rescued them. Anyway, that's the main point. Then Azula visits on Ty Lee, who we can enjoy for her, and she's at the circus. And she wants Ty Lee to join her. She says no, because like her aura has never been so pink, and she's really loving being at the circus. And so, um, but she, but Azula is going to catch her show. Then we got to Rabumi just gave up when um, Aang was talking to the resistance. And then Aang suggests leaving, and so they agree. So they're going to do like a fake plague and do like everyone has pentapox. So uh, Aang is off to find Boomy while they're doing that, and then we catch Ramey's dad, lets them go. Then Aang freed Flopsy, and then Momo got May's baby brother back on accident because Momo was hungry. And Aang's like, I'll feed you later, and that didn't fly with him, so he was like, I am going to go eat something, and then it just had me at the the governor's house. So he was eating food, and the baby just attached to its tail, and Mama flew away, and she just had, had kept hanging on. Oh my god! Then, uh, so then they blend into the crowd, and then we cut to where the circus show and. Basically, Azula first won the net removed, but the guy said, like, we can't really do that because of our performers. And she said, oh, you're right. Set on fire. And so they do. And then she asks, like, what kind of animals do you have? And he goes, like, oh, there's lots of exotic animals. And she's like, release them all. So that happens. So after the show, Azula gave her, like, some blacked out flowers, which is kind of, I guess, her, to be quite honest. And so Tylee said, like, I've changed my mind. I will be joining you. And of course, you know, they're fine about that. So back at the resistance camp, Katara is fawning over the baby. Then a messenger hawk um, from the Fire Nation um, delivered a letter saying, like, hey, we'll trade you uh, King Boomy and if you can be back with my son. And so they agreed. Then we got to Rosula visits May. And uh, turns out they're really good friends as well. And then um, along with Tylee. Then we cut to where Zula is going to be handling the transfer. And then we cut to where she's also renamed the city New Ozai. And so they go to the trade. And they're not doing it anymore. <laughs> they, Zula changed her mind. So, well, she was like, no, we're, this is not happening now. Then we have a really cool action scene and where um, Aang goes to go get um, Boomy and then you have fight scenes between Tylee and Mei versus Katara and Sokka and turns out Tylee disarmed Katara's bending and Aang and Boomy are going down the chutes with Azula following with another cool fight scene and um, Boomy actually saved Aang, he, he can still earthbend because they didn't cover his face. And so he told them, like, there's actually three jings. There is positive, negative, and neutral. And he's doing neutral, so he did nothing. And that's the key to earth bending. You have to wait and listen. 
and he can't leave yet. And then we cut to Andalur's Tom Tom, which is the baby, and that was the end of the episode. Really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and I was like, I cannot... Azula is a very manipulative person. Like, she is, like, an expert manipulator. And, um... The way that May is so bored and everything, she's, like, kind of like the goth girl, and Tylee is, like, the bubbly girl. Just putting them in the, you know... That, that's kind of how their person, <clears throat> personalities match, because, um, Tylee's all into auras and having fun. But she's also an excellent fighter as well, and that she can, um... Neutralize people's earthbending by blocking their chi is pretty freaking cool, to be quite honest. But um, the action scenes were pretty good, and seeing King Bumi again, that was pretty neat. And um, him explaining the earthbending, how Aang has to find a new teacher, which, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But anyway, um, really good episode. I actually really enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, I gave it an A+. Plus. And I'm really enjoying this series again. I've seen it probably like at least three times through. This is probably my fourth time through, to be quite honest with you. But it's still fun and refreshing to see every single time because the fight scenes are very intricate and the action scenes are very intricate for a quote-unquote kids TV show. I mean, to me, it's very impressive. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself and it's just very nostalgic for me, so I'm really enjoying doing it. So that's one do for this video. So if this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below. Do you like my somewhat new location? <laughs> uh, we'll see if I keep doing it in here or not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's one do for me. Uh, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.